well welcome you all to the next lab demonstration of basic electric engineering laboratory so now today we would be discussing about the three phase power measurement by using two watt meter method so in three phase circuit actually we can measure the power by two watt meter method or three watt meter method or single watt meter method of the two this two watt meter method is the most popular method what we use to uh, use for measuring the power consumption in the balanced or unbalanced load so right now what we would be doing we would be checking out that how we would be measuring the three phase power uh, power consumed by a three phase motor by using two watt meter method so let us explain the arrangement we are having the supply coming to the three phase variac the output of the three phase variac is given to the three phase motor and there is a ammeter which will be measuring the current and there will have a voltmeter to measure the voltage so this voltage would be the line voltage this current would be the line current and then we will be measuring the power by two watt meter w1 and w2 and uh, theoretically what we can say that whatever power consumed by this particular motor will be the algebraic sum of the power so what we can say that the active power p consumed by this motor will be equal to w1 plus w2 now since it's a balanced um, three phase induction motor so what we can say that the and the supply is also balanced the the volt line voltage and line current should be same for all the three phases so we can find out the power factor cos phi that can be given as vl il cos phi into root 3 that would be the three phase power i mean that i could say this is the three phase power now this is equal to w1 plus w2 that is known to us so from that we can write there that this cos phi will be nothing but p divided by root 3 vl il this should be the power factor so what we would be doing we would be measuring the voltmeter ammeter and wattmeter reading for different different voltages and try to figure it out that what is going to happen with the power and power factor with the variation of supply voltage so this is what about the brief summary of the lab what we would be doing next the details should be discussed in the class subsequently okay so this is this laboratory setup what we are available in uh, the electrical machine lab of pmc brahmapur so the line three phase supply is connected to the variac this is the three phase variac what we are having so you could see that this is the input a1 a2 a3 and b1 b2 b3 there the output so the output is actually taken and then this output of this variac is taken to the meter so we are having one volt meter to measure the line voltage a ammeter to measure the line current and a 2 watt meter p1 and p2 that is there now um, from this connection it is going to the motor this is uh, what the stator winding of a uh, induction motor is there this is the connection what we had made so i am not going to the details of that because that is not required from the basic electrical engineering prospect and uh, that arrangement is actually coming to this motor so this motor would be operating and right now what we would be doing we would be running the motor in no load condition because we don't have to bother about what is going to happen with the motor when it is loaded so let's see how how, when, how we are going to have it now you could see there that the so line is on there and there is a, some input uh, 415 volt uh, phase voltage uh, line voltage is actually showing there so we are having the input to the variac now now you would be varying the variac slightly now gradually we would be increasing it and let us try to see what is happening to the readings 
So first we are, you see that the voltage is increasing. Now let's see what is going to happen with the current. So see, initially there would have some increase in the current and then it is falling down. It is primarily due to that that the starting current of the motor is generally high. And see the watt meter reading now, we will be increasing the voltage further and giving the rated value to the it. See, one watt meter reading is giving some finite value and another watt meter is actually moving in a negative direction. That implies that this watt meter reading would be taken as negative value. So what we would be doing, we would be simply interchanging the two terminals of potential coil or current coil means we would be interchanging ML or CV. Any of the two we could change. Generally we prefer to change this M and L to get some positive value so that we could measure that value and we take that value to be as a negative value. So we'll be doing that and let you know that. Now you can see the motor is running and we had almost applied the rated voltage. The rated voltage is 415 volt and we had about, uh, let us see what is the voltage. It should be 9 into 4, 360 volt we had applied and we would be approaching towards the rated voltage. We can vary it by that. So see the current, we are having some current corresponding to that voltage. Now see the watt meter to watt meter reading. This is giving some value. This is giving some value. Now what I had, we had done, we had actually, I mean, uh, shifted the current coil. I mean, that's M which was connected previously there. We had connected to L and what connection was there in L, we had connected to M. So you could see it is giving some reading now. Previously it was giving in the opposite direction. Now it is giving in the positive direction because the, what actually happened that the, this pointer, the torque experienced by the pointer will now in the positive direction. But whatever reading we would be taking here, that reading would be nothing but we would be taking this reading as negative, not the positive. And the reading taken by this will be positive value. And you could see there is something written called cos phi equal to 0.2. Now these two watt meters basically, all the two, they are basically the low power factor watt meter we would be using. And why would be using low power factor watt meter? Because right now there is no load in the motor. You could see that uh, this is the load by which you could arrange. We are not applying any load to the motor right now. So under that condition, it would be drawing the current. We having the inductive property at the extreme. And uh, basically it is a no load current that is be drawn by the motor. This is the no load current basically drawn by the motor. So therefore what we can say that the power factor that it would be having, it would be having very low value. So what we are going to do in the experiment would be sh at, I mean, sharing you the readings. So corresponding to each reading, what we have to do, we have to uh, vary the voltage. We will be varying the voltage from... 300 to 425 uh, volt and we will be giving the readings of W1, W2 and ampere. From that you have to compute what is the power factor and what is the total power consumption of this three phase induction motor which is acting like a load here. So I am stopping here. If anyone have any query, you may have asked to me afterwards. Thank you. Have a nice day.